Hi, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a folder for these cards. Now, these cards and envelopes are a video that are on my channel. I said I would give these away to anybody in the UK that shopped with me in the month of July. So, as you can see, the um, note cards and the envelopes all match. So, I'm going to make a folder for them. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a folder. Now, these are the Stamping Up note cards and envelopes. So, if you've got some of these or if you want to buy some of these from my online shop, the measurements I'm going to give you now will enable you to make a folder to put them in. So I've got some bits and pieces here, I've got some ribbon and I've got some matting layers already cut so I'll run through what you'll need. So I'm using a piece of Whisper White card which is cut at eight and a quarter by nine. I've got a panel that's going to go on the front of designer series paper which is three and three quarters by five and a quarter. I've got two panels that are going to go on the inside of the folder. These are one and a half by four and a quarter. I've got a two and a quarter inch circle in Whisper White. I've got some flowers that I've fussy cut with the scan and cut. And I've got another piece of card, which I think this is petal pink. And this is is okay so i'm just going to put all those bits on one side for now i'm bringing in my simply scoreboard and on the long side which is the nine inch side <coughs> i'm going to score this at four and a quarter and four and three quarters then I'm going to rotate it and on the short side, which is the eight and a quarter inch side, I'm going to score it at two and a half and two and three quarters. Now I'll turn it around so hopefully you may be able to see it better. So you've got your your two and a half and two and three quarter inch score lines here and you've got this section in the middle. I'm going to cut away this section up to this second score line. going to use my smaller snips for this and I'm just going to cut that off so that's what you're cutting away so now I'm going to bring in my bone folder and I'm going to fold it over and burnish it on the score lines just make sure when you're folding it over that you line your edges up so that you get an even fold that's how it's looking now. Now if you've got the envelope punch board that has a corner rounder on it I'm just using an old corner rounder that I've had for years and I'm just going to round these two inner corners. And then while I've still got it flat, I'm going to put my designer series paper on here. But again, I'm going to round the inner corners. And they're going to go on there. So I'm going to use some wet glue. I'm going to use some Tombow. Tombow. 
and I'm just going to stick those on the inside panels and leave a border all the way around. So now I want to secure the flaps, but I'm only going to put a tiny little bit of glue in the top left hand corner and the top right hand corner of the flaps. And when I stick them down, I'm making sure that this isn't flat. I'm making sure that I've got my kind of gusset there, if you like, this, this space here, because that's going to enable me to slide the cards in. You could leave the flaps loose, but I think it'd be better if you just stick them down. You could use a glue dot, doesn't need much. Just a little bit of glue in the corner. So as I say, I'm gonna fold it over, but make sure I've still got this flat section at the bottom here upwards. And then just hold that in place. And then I'm gonna do the same with this one. So I'm not flattening this down completely where I've done my score lines. So just hold that for a few minutes and that will grab. So now I'm gonna flip it over got another piece of designer series paper that's going to go on the front. I think I might put this panel on. I may use a piece of lace, I'm not sure yet, but I think I'll stick this panel on. But before I do, I'm going to put some ribbon on. And I've got a piece of ribbon that's about 18 inches long. So just find the middle. And give that a crease because that will help me line this up. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue where this ribbon's going to be. And sit that on there. And then I can put this over the top. So that'll just help secure that ribbon in place. I think I might attach this to there. So what I'm gonna do with this, I'm gonna stick it down with some scotch tape. Just going to fold that over and secure it down with some tape just to hold it in place and then wrap it round and secure it again on the back and then I'm going to stick it down I think I might it there with my circle and then I want to stamp this with the bird so I want the little bird is from the free as a bird stamp set which is available in my shop I'm going to ink this up in memento tuxedo black Stamp it on my circle. Just 
do some quick colouring, I think, with my blends. So I'm going to bring in Smoky Slate because that will tie in with the cards. Because although the birds have got a different colour on them, the main part of the body on my cards is all Smoky Slate. And then we'll pick one of the colours that's in the paper. So I think this is So Saffron. Just give him a little yellow beak. this is going to look I might put that in the middle actually so I think what I might do I think I'll stick this down flat as well to the front then the little bird I'll pop up on dimensionals so and then just to try and tie it all together with the cards I'll add some flowers I think so I think I'll stick this one down flat onto there And should we go with that one or oh, that one? Go with that one, I think. This one can go on dimensionals. I'll put this on mini dimensionals and I'll stick them near the bottom. And apply a little bit of wet glue to the top because the top part is going to sit on the card. And the bottom part is actually going to sit on the folder. So that's why I've, I'm raising that one up a bit. Just get the backs off these. So that's how we're looking. Now. And then I'll just bring the cards in. So if I put two cards and two envelopes, we'll slide in each side. Now, obviously, as I say, this is made using our note cards and envelopes, but you could make this, you know, for your... A6 cards or A2 I think they're called in other parts of the world if you'd like to see me make another one in a slightly bigger size for you know your regular size cards then let me know so that's all going to go in there and then we can tie it up in a bow Uh, 
and that's a little box to go with the giveaway. So if you are a UK customer and you would like to shop in my Stampin' Up! shop and the address will be on the screen, um, I will draw a name from everybody that shops with me in July, as I said, for the card set, but I will send them to you in the little gift folder now. So please give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you don't already do so. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.